While Rihanna is one of the most famous women on the planet, that doesn't mean she's immune from family woes, as more details about her lawsuit against her father are revealed. What is up you guys, it's Susan Morad here with Clever News, and it's looking like this legal battle might never make it to court in the first place. That's because Rihanna has reached out to her father with dates that she is available to mediate with him privately. Re released a legal document saying that she and her lawyers can meet with him on March 18th and or 19th of 2020. As far as we know, he has yet to respond to her requests to meet, but we're thinking that'll probably happen pretty soon. In case you don't know about the case, Rihanna filed a lawsuit against him and his company Fenty Entertainment at the beginning of 2019. She says he's exploiting her name Fenty to further his own business ventures in the entertainment industry. That's because she doesn't want her own name and her own businesses to be connected to his businesses. She claimed, and rightly so, that she has worked hard for years to build the Fenty empire, including her makeup brand, her lingerie line, as well as her clothing line. Earlier this year, Rihanna became the first woman to create an original brand for LVMH, as well as the first black woman to head up a design house at LVMH, the world's largest luxury conglomerate. The Paris-based company owns major luxury brands like Christian Dior, Louis Vuitton and Givenchy. It was announced that Rihanna would be designing a line for the company to be debuted later that year. Of course, that LVMH brand came to be her new fashion line Fenty, which she debuted on her Amazon Prime special. Fenty Beauty and Rihanna's Savage X Fenty lingerie line generated an estimated $570 million in revenue last year. And now she's saying that her father is profiting off of her name and the years of her own hard work. On top of that, she also says that he has been falsely promoting her music and booking her for performances without her knowledge or permission. Meaning he's telling people that she's performing when she really had no plans of doing so. He said that she was doing a tour of Latin America that included 15 shows in 2017, as well as two concerts at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. Who knows, maybe he just wants more Rihanna music just as much as the rest of us do. In her initial statement that she made in the beginning of 2019 when the lawsuit first came into play, Rihanna said, Although Mr. Fenty is Rihanna's father, he does not have and never has had authority to act on Rihanna's behalf. Rihanna also apparently sent him multiple cease and desist letters basically telling him he is legally obligated to stop, but reportedly he ignored all of them. It's not clear exactly what she is suing for or what she wants as reparations, however it's unlikely to be money from her father though because she's got her own. She topped the list of Forbes' richest self-made female musicians with a cool $600 million. Forbes reports that most of that money comes from Rihanna's cosmetics line, Fenty Beauty. She raked in about $570 million in just the first 15 months of business. So Rihanna probably won't be asking for a lot of money if the lawsuit goes through, she just wants him to stop. But Rihanna's dad, Ronald Fenty, has an argument of his own. He's saying that he was the first person to use the name Fenty as a business venture for his own brands. He says that he started Fenty and Rihanna launched Fenty Beauty a whole year later. Fenty Beauty launched in 2017, meaning that he would have had to start his own brand in 2016. According to him, he wanted to start a reality show under the group Fenty Entertainment way back in 2015. That reality show, which would have followed his life around, never came to fruition. He said that he wanted to develop the reality show to further highlight his career, business activities, personal branding, and name recognition in the entertainment industry and as a celebrity. Well, unfortunately for him, that never ended up happening. And now, a few years later in 2018, he attempted to trademark the word Fenty for a line of boutique hotels he wanted to open. And you gotta admit, that sounds a little bit sus. I mean, Rihanna had already started Fenty Beauty by that point, people were raving about how good her products were, and she had already made millions of dollars off them by then. Obviously, she had already trademarked the name Fenty by then, so it seems like he wanted to take it from her. Because the name was already taken, the US Patent and Trademark Office denied him the request. But despite the cease and desist, the court cases and the back and forth between the two, they still remain on pretty good terms. In the summer, Rihanna posted this photo of the two of them along with a heart emoji. But I guess their relationship is complicated. But right now, you guys, I want to know what you think of the whole thing. Do you think Rihanna is right here or do you think there's more to it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And while you're down there leaving comments, you guys, hit up that subscribe button right there and also hit the bell to be notified the second we post a new Clever News update. After that, catch up on all the tea you missed right over here. I'm Susan Morad. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.